Oh, hey there. What's up, girl? Uh-oh, look at this sweet, oh my goodness. I wanna introduce you to a new member of the Shanks family. This is Keely. Come here, little monster. She is the sweetest. She's a phantom multi-poo. She's a multi-poo just like Clutch, and Clutch can't stand her right now because she gets all the attention in the world. And she's so cute, huh? <laughs> there you go, go chase your brother. Chase your brother, chase your brother. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> oh no, he pulled the one two on you, you can't get up there. Keely, that's not, a, nope, that's that's not a nipple. Don't, don't bite that. Before we get this going, we're gonna drop off you guys' orders. I wanna thank you guys so much for the support we got on the 5.3 drop on the 12th. We sold out of most stuff, we have a few shirts left, but we also ordered a bunch of jet tags, so if you guys want any accessories, we sold out of water bottles, sold out of backpacks, we're gonna bring backpacks back, but we have a couple shirts left. But, as you can tell from the title, I'm nuts, and I like to buy too many cars, but that's life, man. All right, here we go. <clears throat> well, that certainly took a lot longer than we anticipated. So know that we already currently have a Project Civic. <laughs> and we are working on that. We have been waiting on a clutch for like a week and a half. I'm ready to blow up the D16 in that car. Also, I'm planning on being at Friday Night Drags this Friday night at Texas Motor Speedways. I've had these ideas. And you guys really, really, really liked the Turbo Civic that I've done for the past month and a half now. And I have honestly really enjoyed it as well. It's very easy, it's very cheap, it's very simple to build Honda stuff. While I'm also very excited to finish the uh, the EJ1 build, I have always had this itching for an EK hatch, an EK9. So right now we're going to look at this 1999 EK, and uh, it's evidently, it might be salvage title, which is fine. He's driving like 30 minutes to meet me, so. I'm hoping and trusting that the car is gonna be okay. I like how back in the day he said you'd never get a Honda. I know. And within a I know. Month, but it's so fun. A month and a half, we are. How much fun have I had building this Honda? So much fun. So let's check this car out. Hoping it's good. I'll tell you more about what I'm going to do once we buy it. But so cute. There it is. Oh, it's over there, dude. Doing? Um, so he said it was just like this rebuild or something like that. You guys had a high title. The title from y'all's name, I guess. Well, it's just a cool thing. I'm not sure. You guys haven't registered it? No. No, I did. Yeah, I already did. That's what I was saying. I always, every car I, I buy, I always make sure that, because like sometimes you can grab, you know, you accidentally grab the wrong one. Oh, you got the custom, uh, custom roll up? Okay. Man, I got no exhaust on it. <laughs> oh, radio work? Yeah. Uh oh. It's not idling too happy. I'll get it here. We just drove it. Perfectly fine until we just parked right here. Oh, what in the world's going on? This thing's about to die, man. Hey, can I see the title? Yeah. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to put a new motor in it. That's like definitely not good, though. I mean, he take a thousand for it. I'm thinking myself. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be cool with him. Oh, let me talk to my wife real quick. So they they never like signed it and they never registered it. We can't use this. Why? Because the guy that they bought it from never signed it. So we technically we'd have to get it certified that it's not stolen because this guy never signed it. I want it, but you know, do I? Doesn't run. I mean, do you Chinese want to mess with it and stuff again? Yeah, so the only thing is, like, whenever you have a title that's not signed by the guy you bought it from, yeah. you can't do it because they, they think it's stolen or, like, yeah. they'll think it's, you know, something's going on with it. Uh, what, what happened now? 
It died. Not I'm assuming he knows the guy he bought it from. Like, yeah, who's this Willie? Like, I have to have. Who's Willie? He's on in Dallas, Texas. Give us one second. We're gonna we're gonna look something up. I don't, I wouldn't even take the car for free if it's you know if I can't if yeah. I can't if yeah. I can't register it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's open header right now. They have the exhaust sitting in the back seat. <laughs> and, um, Seriously? Yeah. So it just died? It just died. Is it not starting now? It's not starting? Like, it's definitely, like, it's all fixable. It needs, like, new interior. It needs to be redone. I mean, a lot of stuff needs to be redone, but, like, I can get new door cards pretty easily. I can get new seats. I mean, hell, I even have the, the stock on the seats that are nice. You know, I could you put those in there for a while. Or, it's true. Radio doesn't work. Steering wheel kind of sucks, but, I mean, as you saw, I can, get a, I can get a steering wheel really cheap and quickly and easily. And motor doesn't concern me because, it's, honestly, it's a D16. I could buy one from a junkyard for probably a couple hundred bucks, tops. Or I can just start the engine swap now. The exterior, I mean, it doesn't look pretty from the outside. It's super dented, so I would probably have a lot of body work to do especially let's see so it is a salvage title yeah confirm salvage i don't I mean these guys are really nice and i know they're not doing me dirty but like oh shoot but yeah like that wouldn't do anything other than they're just trying to hide people that it's a salvage car i don't know dude my mind is telling me no but my body can they even get it my <laughs> body is telling me yes god even for that cheap i just don't think i can do it I tried. I hope that I hope that was entertaining enough for you guys, because that was definitely an interesting. I'm always so sketched, <laughs> like just buying cars. It's never like you just never know what can happen. These guys are super nice though. These guys are really cool. So you want to just call it no for now? The alternator belt fell off. That's why it's doing that. Oh. Oh, no battery. Okay. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> now we gotta leave it here and get a belt. There's an O'Reilly literally right down the road right here. Okay. Well, I'm not going to drive this car back then. Right. It needs a belt. We can drive right. it back. Stay here with the title. Anybody can take that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying I can just take it home for free? <laughs> Sorry I had to drive out here, but I just, I can't. Yeah. With, this, with the title, that's honestly like, that's the thing that's stopping me. Well, man, I appreciate you guys coming out here. I'll, um, sorry about that, but it happens. Oh, sorry, little dude. Man, thought that was gonna be the jackpot right there. Bye. When you buy or when you sell a car, dude, it's really, really, really important. Like when you have a title, you have to sign. Um, signing titles, like that's one of the, I, I've tried buying and selling cars before with that sort of thing. And even the SC300 was really whack because it was like technically an open title. You know, when you try and register something like that with no signature and stuff, you know, they might think it's stolen and then you might get into some trouble and maybe it is stolen. And so you never know with stuff like that. So, hey man, at least they're having a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, take a second to address the car. I forgot, like I went through the video and I didn't talk about like how the car was. It was not, in hindsight, I'm glad I just said absolutely no because it was in bad condition. It had bad, I mean the door cards were like, look like there's crumpled paper stuffing them. Tell them about the, the windshield or the- I did, there was vice grips literally that rolled the windshield up. It was really bad. Everything was cracked. The tachometer didn't work and the tachometer that was mounted in the middle of the dash didn't work. AC didn't work, radio didn't work, the seats were disgusting, there was ants on the floor, and uh, the paint was bad, it was, dent it was dented everywhere, it was not in good condition. My point of doing this though was to buy the Honda for a thousand bucks. You know, that was gonna be my thousand dollar car. All in all, like, somebody might find value in that, but, oh, and also the motor just, I'm not sold that it was just the alternator that came unplugged, that's why. Anyways. Back to the rest of the video. So I did verify because I have a soft spot. I have people who have had their car stolen before. I wanted to definitely make sure. I checked, the car has not been stolen. So I don't want you guys in the comments to be like, oh, this person stole it, isn't that? Like, I just wanted to make sure. It's pretty common when you're buying Honda stuff, so I definitely wanted to know. But I'm still on the market, so I'm down to buy an EK hatch. I want one so badly because they're my favorite. 
I really want to do something a little bit different than the EJ that I'm doing right now. Just different enough, but also really, you know, really cool. But I have something really cool in mind, so I'm really trying to move on this as soon as possible. Also, for the EJ build, we're waiting on my clutch to be delivered. We've waited for like a week and a half. That's the only thing holding us back, so it's taken a little bit. We're still trying to make it to Drag Nights at Texas Motor Speedway, so I hope to see you guys there this weekend. Follow my Instagram and Twitter, and I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'm trying not to step on my little teeny dog. As for my daily advice to end this video, I want to let you, I just want to be simple and let you guys know that uh, you are loved, you are special, and uh, whatever you're going through, you can keep going. We are never put through trials that we can't endure. Everything going on in your life right now, whether it's, no matter how bad it might seem, we are, you are strong enough, and I want you to know that you're worth it. You are worth it. You have to believe that. You have to believe that you're worth getting through whatever's going on in your life right now. I have to make sure Keely's not pooping in the house right now, so I love you guys, and I will uh, hopefully, maybe I'll even find a Civic tomorrow. We'll see. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Deuces. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That was rude. I got two videos for you um, while I'm looking for Keely because I think she poo pooed. She did. Keely, bad girl. No, man. <laughs> Watch those two videos.